But natural law provides protection for individual rights from violation by the state. Those who are against natural law desire total rule by the state. (laughs) The second statement represents a common libertarian tactic. Instead of addressing the issues, they accuse an opponent of being totalitarian or at least less sinister statist. In this way, they hope to distract attention from and so avoid discussing the issue at hand while at the same time smearing their opponent. We can therefore ignore the second statement. Regarding the first, natural law has never stopped the rights of individuals from being violated by the state. Such laws are as much use as a chocolate fire guard. If natural rights could protect one from the power of the state, the Nazis wouldn't have been able to murder six million Jews. The only thing that stops the state from attacking people's rights is individual and social power. The ability and desire to protect oneself and what one considers to be right and fair. Or as the anarchist Rudolf Rocker pointed out, political or individual rights do not exist because they have been legally set down on a piece of paper, but only when they have become the ingrown habit of a people and when any attempt to impair them will be met with the violent resistance of the populace. One compels respect from others when he knows how to defend his dignity as a human being. The people owe all the political rights and privileges which we enjoy today in greater or lesser measure, not to the goodwill of their governments, but to their own strength. Anarcho-syndicalism, page 64. Of course, if it is that there are no natural rights, then the state has no right to murder you, or otherwise take away what is commonly regarded as human rights. One can object to state power, without believing in natural law. Like I said, bur-